Hello everyone, this is Coach Carol. This morning, I'm going to entice you into the world of digital storytelling. One of my favorite pursuits right now, and I hope it will become so for you. Digital storytelling is all about gathering the memories from your memory box and telling a story about them one ancestor at a time. I'm going to share some slides with you this morning to help set the scene for digital storytelling. I have several boxes of old photos and memorabilia, letters, objects, and most of all, those really important images of my ancestors. Do you have a memory box filled with such memorabilia? Now's the time to drag them out and start thinking about how you can bring them to life. I'm about to write more stories about my Allery clan. These are from my dad's side of the family. And the three that I am going to begin with include my great uncle William, my great grandfather Samuel, and my grandfather Walter. These gentlemen were all part of the Allery tailoring dynasty, starting back in the late 1870s and working through to 1940. I have done quite a lot of research on each of them and I know a lot more about each of them and their stories need to be heard. I have written some stories about William Adrian Allery in my digital storytelling course, but more about that later. I also write stories of each of my ancestors on my blog, which is a favorite pastime of mine after I have done my research. There are, of course, always two sides to the coin or two sides to your family. And in my mother's clan, the Cutting clan, I'm keen to tell the story about great, my grandmother, Mary Jane. She had triplets back in the early 1900s, a rare occasion. And her husband, my grandfather, Charles Harry, and some of the things that he got up to that got him into a spot of bother. And I would like to research more about my mother and my aunts gathered here at a wedding party back in England. I know that there are secrets to be told and I want to know why Grandmother Mary Jane and my mum, Winifred, were estranged for a time. That's an important story for me to reveal. So digital storytelling for you, what could that mean? Can you uncover the secrets and stories that lie in those boxes, cupboards, or in the memories of your living relatives? What I'm urging you to do is to ensure that these stories are not lost. Grab all those images, choose some music, and write a narrative about one of your ancestors to include in a digital story. You'll find that it is engaging and will help preserve those memories for generations to come. We usually aim for about three to five minutes in length, and this is a good length for enticing the millennial, millennials into watching something about their ancestors. Not a favorite pursuit for them, but an important one and done quickly will entice them in. What you're doing is creating your own oral history. And you may in fact want to talk about a living person or interview them to get their history so that you can preserve it for others in your family. I've done this several times now for members of my own family, and 
I'm finding it quite revealing when you ask some open-ended questions about their life as a child, into their teenage years and as an adult. Some revelations there that might not have otherwise been uncovered. So here are the pieces that you need for creating a digital story. Yes, you need an idea, first of all. You need to have that spark or that dramatic question, why this ancestor and why this story? Write those down. Keep a journal if you wish. Next, gather up those photos that lie hidden and bring them to life. Some might be old and damaged. You can enhance those using simple tools on your computer. Those old photos are the key to engaging the viewer of your finished digital story. Then set about writing the narrative. Now this should be about 500 words. If you have any more, then the finished digital story is going to be much longer and you will need to gather even more photos. So keep it short and know that you can edit along the way. So you're writing that down. This is your draft narration. Then you may wish to find some special music. Every good digital story needs a background sound and soft music in the background will help enhance the mood of your digital story. Plenty of free music to be had. Most of that I have sourced through the audio library at YouTube and there are some excellent instrumentals there that would lend themselves to digital stories. What we're really trying to do is keep those ancestors in mind. So what I'm suggesting is that you might also like to join a community of people who are doing just that. The community is a Facebook group and this is the address for it. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash DST online. Now, why would you join the community? What benefits would there be for you to do so? They include tips for preserving family history. Some of the things that we're posting into the community are those that you might not find in other places. And we're gathering them together using the special learning units that Facebook provides, like this set on tips for preserving family history, including so far how to digitize old photos, what are those interview techniques, and how can you harvest shareable photos in Google? Other items in the community group include learner chat groups. Now this enables those people who are doing the course, Digital Storytelling Online, to have their own special chat group. We've had one group so far doing a trial on the DST online. And you can read their comments if you come into the community. If you choose to join and enroll in the course, there is a special chat group for you in the community called the DST Online Learners Group. And here you can have lots of chats between participants and with me. So will you join me for a digital storytelling learning adventure? I hope so. I am a big fan of digital storytelling for family and oral historians. And the course has been built and is now ready for you. Today is launch day. And you can find the course at my coachcarolonline.thinkific.com. So do you need some more information? Have I whetted your appetite and you want more? Then of course there is more and you can find that in my website. And once again, if you go 
to that website and to the page about digital storytelling, you'll find all the information you need. All you need to do is point your browser at coachcarolonline.com and you will find the page for digital storytelling. I know that this is going to be a wonderful adventure for those who are keen to preserve their family history. So please consider joining the community and if you want more information, go to my website. And if you'd like to join the Digital Storytelling Online course, launching today, May 13, 2019, then go right ahead. I'm there waiting for you. Bye for now.